So this is the salt and stone natural deodorant and they have several different scents. This one is the eucalyptus and cedar. Um, it is, it is kind of, it's, it's more of a woodsy scent. Um, but that is my personal favorite. I'm not somebody who has always loved the, um, the flowery scents when it comes to deodorant. And this is absolutely incredible. So it lasts a long time. It's super moisturizing and, um, sorry, there was my dog hair on it. Classic, but it is super moisturizing. It's got that eucalyptus and it helps mask the, um, odor instead of preventing it in the way of not letting you sweat. So I, like I said, I love playing pickleball. <laughs> okay, Jordan, yes, you love this product. It really is the best. I play pickleball. I'll go play, you know, volleyball with my friends. I'll go on a long hike. Um, my boyfriend and I, we went 13 miles on a hike um, on Sunday and I used this and I didn't smell. Now that should be, you know, enough proof that this actually works. Um, 13 miles, I was knocked out afterwards for sure because that was a lot, but it was hot outside. It was like 85 degrees in Colorado that day and this really worked. So I highly recommend and they have other scents. They've got scents that are a little bit fruitier, scents that are a little more more fresh and um but this one is my personal favorite. It kind of smells a little bit like Christmas just because of the cedar. Um but I cannot live without this and it's super moisturizing also. So I don't usually put like any lotion or any moisture moisturizer on my armpits after just because I've got this. So if you're just joining us, um, I am talking about deodorant and talking about underarm care and the taboos that come along with it. I have been loving having this conversation. So if anybody has any questions, definitely shoot them out there. Um, I'd love to answer them and just kind of talk about the things that nobody ever talks about. But um, I started off by saying that, you know, when I was a kid, I learned about like sweating and puberty and all of that from the care and keeping of you book um, from American Girl Doll. And I'm pretty sure I gave it to my niece who is now 11. And it's just, it's funny seeing that being passed down, you know, all the generations. But um, that's really where I learned about how to take care of my body. And I remember going to Target and picking out a secret antiperspirant um, deodorant. And I thought that that was the only option. I thought that that was, you know, the only way that I was going to be able to live life stink free. <laughs> and I have now learned that there are so many products out there that are great for your skin, that are beneficial for your skin, that don't just prevent, you know, your odor, but they actually help soothe and, and cleanse and prevent ingrown hairs. And they've got multi, they're multi-purposeful. And so um, I am super excited to continue sharing these. So I first, I started off by sharing the skin wash and just a reminder you can always find all of the products in the four little squares to the right of the screen and um, you can shop right there so this is the skin wash from surface deep it's an antioxidant moisturizing glycolic wash and so this glycolic wash um, it has 10 percent glycolic acid in it and so it is super uh cleansing it kind of knocks out all of the stink, all of the bad bacteria that can kind of be growing in your underarms, um, especially in the summer when it's super hot outside and there's not a lot of air that gets circulated through. Sometimes um, you can take a shower and you can use like your regular body wash and you don't even have a loofah or anything. You're just like in a rush. You're going from one thing to the next and you get out of the shower. And you're like, I still stink. How is this happening? I still stink. And it's because you're not using something that actually wipes away all of the um, the stink and the bad bacteria. Um, let's see, is it sudsy and foamy or more of a gel? Well, here, I'll show you. So what I do is I use about like a dime size and I will 
just foam it up. It's not foamy. It is, it's actually considered a non soap wash. So um, it's not going to foam up. It's super moisturizing, but it still gets you clean. So you're not going to be coming out of the shower feeling like dry in your underarms. And also this is great. Um, their slogan is all people, all bodies, all over. And so you're able to use this all over. And I had mentioned before that I would use this on, you know, my bikini line also. And um, if I am dealing with like any back knee or if I'm getting like a breakout on my chest, I'll use it here and it clears it up in an instant. Okay. Well, not in an instant that doesn't ever happen, but in a, in a couple days, it actually, I can see a real difference. So, um, after scrubbing for a little bit and letting it kind of sink in, sometimes it does sting a little bit, just a warning, especially if you had just shaved your armpits. So typically I'll shave after I wash just because I don't really want to deal with the sting. But if you're kind of, if you're tough, unlike me, you are good to go. So then I will wash it off and kind of let it dry. Um, and then I'll move on to the next product. But, oh, yes. Awesome. The natural deodorant is amazing. What scent did you get? Because um, I know that they've got like some fruitier ones, but I have the eucalyptus and cedar. So the next one is I will go ahead and use the Surface Deep Anti-Odorant Pads. So these are incredible. I hadn't ever heard of a concept like this. So Surface Deep, I believe, is really the first of, of the companies to create something like this that isn't just a, um, a, a pad that removes the stink. You know, because we've got all of those where we can put them in our purse or in our backpack and we're able to just kind of open it, wash our armpits and then put deodorant on again. But this so this has glycolic acid in it. And so the glycolic acid kind of takes away, like I said, takes away all of the bad bacteria. And then it has um, fermented probiotics in it. And so. These probiotics then put good bacteria on your armpits, just like it would in your if you were drinking kombucha or if you had your yogurt or if you were taking a supplement that had probiotics. It's letting good bacteria in so that the everything, your whole entire microbiome can actually thrive. So the good bacteria prevents the stink and the um, glycolic acid gets rid of the stink. So you're able to use this and be completely fine for the rest of the day. I went and played pickleball with my boyfriend. Also one, might I add, which is kind of difficult. Um, and I didn't stink at all after using these. And I was a little bit paranoid at, at first when I first started using them um, because I'm like, oh, is it really true? Is that true? Like, is it going to work? Is it going to be effective? I'm not somebody who necessarily is a like stinkless person. <laughs> I think that I am um, very much someone who can sweat and who could reapply deodorant on a regular basis. Um, but this worked and it worked wonders. So what you do is you just rip this guy open and there's 30 of them that come in each pack. And so um, I, you can use one every day. And I actually have been reading up on it even more. And it was saying that if after a while you get used to it, you don't necessarily have to use this every single day, that it is still effective um, because the good bacteria still resides in your armpit after you apply this. So what you do is after getting out of the shower, after using the body wash, I will just wipe like this. And this will clear up any ingrown hairs as well. It will exfoliate your underarms. Unlike, you know, a loofah, you can take a loofah and you can kind of try to shove it into your armpit and, <laughs> and try to get it in there, but it doesn't work as well. So using this is going to provide a lot of exfoliation and then um, it will allow for all of the probiotics to kind of get right in there and do their job by preventing any stink for the rest of the day. So 
The next product that I have been sharing is the Shade Beauty Overnight Glow Up Brightening Mask. And I was explaining earlier that a lot of the times we'll buy products and it'll say face wash and we will leave it just for our face or it'll be a face mask and we won't use it on any other part of our body that may benefit from it. So I started using these body products on or these face products on my body. So I can use this on my chest if I feel like I have been dealing with, you know, discoloration or hyperpigmentation or if especially like on um on people with darker skin complexions, they have like our kneecaps sometimes are darker than the rest of our body or our elbows. And so we can use these kinds of products on the rest of our body to see their benefits, the same benefits that will be on our face. So this Shade Beauty Brightening Mask is awesome because if you are like me and you deal with like hyperpigmentation and you deal with um, any discoloration or scarring, if you get a zit um, and then you pop it and then it is still on your face for eternity because you did it incorrectly and you didn't listen to Dr. Pimple Popper, um, this is the kind of product that is great for you. So I will take probably like about this much um, of a dropper. Here, I'll use the other armpit. And I do this probably two or three times a week. So whenever I'm feeling like I need a little extra love um, for my body and I need to do a little extra care, I'll use this. And so I will go ahead and add it just right to my armpits and um, and you just leave it there. It's overnight. You can wake up in the morning and you can wipe it off or you can wake up in the morning and take a shower. But this is an overnight mask. So you can leave it on and the products, the ingredients in this product are amazing. The first ingredient is aloe vera. So you don't have to worry about there being any um, skin sensitivity, any, any feeling of it burning or um, it not being something that you can leave on your skin for a long period of time. It also has azelaic acid and niacinamide in it. And so that is going to moisturize and exfoliate your underarms overnight, which is pretty incredible. Um, Jess says that she's tried so many natural deodorants and is always willing to try more. Yes, this one that I'm going to be sharing is incredible. It really is. So the salt and stone, I have the eucalyptus and cedar scented natural deodorant and it is super creamy. I'll do a little bit of like a, like a, a test right here. It is really nice. You, it doesn't, you can barely see it. And that is also an amazing thing because I'm somebody who is always wearing stuff like this, always wanting to kind of show off my my arms, my long arms, and I don't want to cover up necessarily. And this is a deodorant that is not going to leave that white cast. And, you know, I've tested a lot of natural deodorants where it goes on clear and then you start exercising and it gets all white and starts kind of dripping and is super ineffective and you're you're essentially you're like trying to prevent like your deodorant from getting all over your body where this it stays in place it doesn't move it is really effective it works and it smells great. So this one is a little bit more of an earthy kind of woodsy scent with the cedar. And I know that they have other scents that are super um, fruity and fresh and beachy that you can use. And their entire, all of their products that they have are really great. I know they've got awesome mineral sunscreens for people as well. Um, but these have been, this has been my go-to for the past, I would say, three or four months. Um, and I can't live without it. I actually, I found that they sell like little mini ones at certain stores. And so I've gotten the little mini ones and I put one in my car and there's one in my purse all the time. And, um, this is just super, super effective. So that is all that I've got for today. I am Super happy that you guys joined in on this conversation with me. And, you know, we discussed 
the taboo things, the taboo things of life of, of deodorant and underarm care. And so I hope you all enjoyed. And I definitely um, would recommend kind of creating your own little routine for your underarms. I love the skin wash. I love the anti-odorant pads right here. These are amazing. And then I love being able to pamper myself just a little bit more by using the overnight glow up um, brightening mask and then using also the salt and stone deodorant. So I hope you all have enjoyed and um, I'll stay on for just another minute or so and see if anyone has any questions. But this has really changed the game for me and all of these products have and I hope that you guys are able to you know join in and and let me know how these work out for you as well so we're gonna um I'll be back uh, next week talking about something new and I'm super excited to be able to share all of those new products with you guys as well but let me let me know come back next Friday at 11 Pacific time. And we can talk about how you guys like all these products, but that is all for today. I hope you have an amazing Friday, have an amazing weekend as well. And, uh, don't, don't stink <laughs> with these products. You won't stink. <laughs> all right. Bye guys.